Hello, welcome to the tutorial on the frog dock brick. Okay, yet another brick. Okay, this is the frog dock here, and really what it is is another type of menu. So if you've made menus already, you'll understand this. So I'm just going to drag it into the top of this page that I made earlier. Um, and um, and then really, you just double click it, and you can see here it says menu. So we're going to go and select menu and show how it doesn't work well, and then show you how it does work well. Um, so which menu do I want? Let me think. I'll use the frog training menu um, from the training website and like so. The thing I really really like about the dock is it allows users to hide the items they don't want and to add items that they would do. Um, so it's something that the user can use on your page specifically. Now I've done that, forgive the music in the background, I'm sorry. Um, uh, you can see what it looks like. Now it doesn't look anything special here and there's no labels and there's no images um, so it's not that great. Um, so let's um, turn the preview off go back into the edit and double click the brick um, and I'm going to go this time and select um, the ICT menu um, because in that one I set it up for crystal menu which means I, in, in the menu editing I put in lots of different um, images, a different image for every link um, and therefore it has um, it will populate with those so you can see here uh, while I'm here the appearance here I'm not going to change any of these if you are into your Photoshop you can change these to be whatever you like um, you have to go and make them though and they have to be exact pixel sizes and sort of gradients of color for them to make sense but I'm not going to mess about with those so I click on OK and preview it now and you can see um, this all looks quite dinky however it hasn't got any labels on it um, but what users will be able to do is click on this cog at the end and we don't want that go away what's that doing there hang on a second let me go fix that it seems as this PDF is not changing it's leaving that thing there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and delete this lovely um, brick here so that that PDF gets out of the way Um, and then I can preview it and show you how this can be edited by students. So these are all the things on the ICT menu, you see. So what the students can do is um, go and delete all of the things that aren't relevant to them. Say they're in the fifth form and they have no interest in any of these. They might leave, yeah, they'd leave the AP on so they could read it later. Um, so they might leave clubs on, touch typing, but not the software or the tools directory or whatever it might be. So the menu becomes a very different thing. And then, so we click on OK and you can see it's much smaller now. Um, the lack of labels um, is a bit annoying um, but they can also go and add um, different links to things. So if I go and click on a link and you get taken into here you see so um, I can bbc.co.uk slash sport so in the sports science for example <coughs> they could do that kind of thing you could just put to open it in a new window here um, and click on OK and click on OK down the bottom and you can see that that hasn't appeared at all. Why has that not appeared? Oh, because I have to give it a name. Um, BBC and I won't bother giving it an icon. Create item. There it is. Click on OK. So now this is just a link which will open up a new page. You can imagine if you're wanting your students to go back to things regularly, they come onto your home page and they have their own dock and you've told them to set up their own links and things to that dock. Um, that might be really, really useful and really, really good. Equally, the students can put shortcuts to their favourite things which they can turn on and off really, really quickly from inside a frog. You know, them the breaks. That's classroom management. Um, so there it is, the frog dock. You have to set the menu up um, quite carefully. Publish and exit. And then you can just go and have a look at the page. And you can see it looks like that. Remember, it's what you put on and off. Um, that wouldn't change it for everybody, that would only change it for the user that was logged in, by the way, if they went and turned certain things off and left others on. Um, so that's the frog dock. And that's a cool brick, but it's quite advanced in the editing of the menu in the back end.